congratulations on a fantastic career. Thank you. Uh, it's it seemed like after the game that you wanted to maybe just walk off and just maybe didn't want to know how to enter. But um, just now that you've only had like ten minutes of the clock, yeah. How does it feel? Um, kind of weird. Definitely surreal. Um. I think initially you feel sad about the season and the game um, or I felt sad about the season and the game. And I then think as the emotions started to come to the surface, um, you know, that's also what I know deep down and in that that was my last game. <clears throat> so um it was a combination of those two things uh but overall it just feels kind of weird <laughs> was there any one particular moment or thing that happened in the first game that was that made you emotional so we can look at it afterwards but... yeah um no just well i mean probably the, the fans and and just them sticking around and you know you're you're right Percy I didn't really want to leave the court it felt like that's where everybody was going so I just followed at first um, but I also wanted to kind of have one last moment to say thank you to uh, you know soak it all in because um, in some ways it is a happy thing. You know, I'm proud of of everything we've accomplished here, and of course, I'm sad. But there's happiness too to be able to have a moment like that with the fans, to have them chant the way they did. Um, I know the tears don't look like happy tears, but there's a lot of happiness. And to how special is it that you, you know, obviously don't win the championship this year, but you guys wanted to play in this 2018 and 2020. Yeah, um, I'm so proud of those championships. Um, those groups went through a lot. They went through a lot. Some people know, some people don't know. And we won those together. And I think they'll always have a special meaning, those two championships for sure. Um, and for me, it was a career rejuvenation. You know, I, 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 I've spoken about this before. I never thought I would even get back to the finals once the rebuild started. So I think that's what makes it even more special for me personally. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, maybe you're catching me in a moment, but it's tough. It's, it's going to be tough to when it's, I was about to say when it's all said and done, um, <laughs> not ship sailed. Um, I think 2018 will, will go down as my favorite for so many reasons. I talked to a lot of fans this week about you, and the thing that kept coming up is that you stayed. You stayed in yeah. Seattle. So what does that mean that to you that you got to do your entire career here in the South? Yeah, it means a lot. It really does. Um, you know, I've expressed this before, just being able to share this experience with the same fan base, with a city, with a community, um, you know, being a part of their lives, them being a part of mine. It's it's a really unique relationship. Um, with that, I, I feel, you know, such ownership for this franchise. I want it to continue to succeed. I want to help it do that um, for because of all that it, it gave to me, just all the support. Um, you know, I've played for two ownership groups, the one that drafted me and the one that kept the team here. And 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 I'm so thankful to them. Um, obviously, all the people who have come through the front office, all the teammates, all the coaches. I've been really lucky, you know, so, so I know a lot of people might say to you that they feel lucky that, that I stayed, but I feel really lucky that I've, I've got to have this, I've, I've had this experience that I got to have this experience. Um, it's, I don't think it's rare. You, you might not see athletes be able to do this or have the opportunity to do it. So I'm also thankful for that. Um, but like I said, it's not rare. There's been other people to do it, but, but those that have done it know that it's really special and it's really unique. And I will be able to take this with me for the rest of my life. And that is really special to me. Now that the moment has arrived, 
Imagine. No, I, I don't have second thoughts. You know, it's, it's, you know, I don't have second thoughts. Um, of course, you know, my body feels good. And so that can be tricky um, or it can trick you, but there, there's a reason why I felt comfortable and I felt confident in, in this being, being my last year. Um, being able to say that out loud was a, a big hurdle. Um, and once I kind of jumped over that, I knew I did the right thing because how I felt afterwards. Um, am I going to miss basketball? Absolutely. There's going to be nothing like this. I don't think I'll ever be able to replicate it. I'm not even going to try. Um, but now I know I made the right decision. In previous years, the, the way that you guys played before games, we'd be talking about you and some of the final. Yeah. This seemed to be a pretty spectacular series in terms of the quality of display. Can mm -hmm. you sort of describe what these, what these four games were like? Yeah, they were. Um, I can only imagine from a spectator standpoint, they had to have been some of the best games they've ever watched. Um, just the shot making, the play making the swings, the back and the fourth. Um, that's exciting basketball. And I think we had two teams that have some really special players and really special talent. I mean, wow. Chelsea Gray was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Asia, unbelievable. Stewie, unbelievable. I mean, I think about the last couple minutes of pretty, pretty much all four games and it was just back and forth and back and forth. Um, and that's that's a sign of of things to come. I think in this league, the talent can do that now. Um, that wasn't always the case for a long time. So it's really exciting to to see these young players shine the way they did. Jewel included. Jewel had some moves tonight. Oof. I mean, so you know the league is in good hands. I think that's really what this series tells you because it, it was four young players just taking over. So obviously, I'm not seeing. Um... In career, can you just talk about all the other impacts that you've had because of the platform that you've had? And is there anything that you're really proud of that you were able to accomplish or help fight for over the best in that career? Yeah, I mean, we got a senator in office. It's pretty incredible. I'm really proud of that. Um, I think I keep like eating this. Um, um, that's probably off the court, probably one of the, the things I'm most proud of. Um, that our league was able to achieve that or help somebody achieve that. I think, um, you know, otherwise just being able to, you know, I really do believe that my generation of, of players, um, you know, maybe a couple years ahead of me, a couple years behind me, just this, this group with our play, I do think we kept, kept the league alive, you know, kept the league alive when we weren't getting, um, on TV as much when we weren't getting the coverage, when we weren't getting the, you know, the sponsorship money or the deals. It was our play that kept the league going. And I and I feel really proud to be part of that generation. You know, it's not the very first generation, but it is the one that took the baton and, and did the best with it that we could. And from there, now we're starting to see things change. You know, so in some ways I'm I'm proud to be part of that generation that kind of kept it going. I'm also glad that my last couple of years I got to experience the change this like this corner that got turned. Um, I got a little bit of a, a taste of it. You know, it's too bad we didn't make the finals. I would like to taste that charter, but I've been on it before. They're all right. Hey, so you, you might be really familiar for this, but just that the relationship you have with so many teammates, you know, that the change on the team. Yeah, I mean, Tanisha Wright flew out here just for this game, you know, um, I could go down the list of, of people. We ha I have group chats from, from teams. I have a group chat that every day, every day somebody writes in it from our 2010 team. Um, group chats from the 2008 team, 18 team, sorry. Um, Cherie Sam was here from the 2004 team. Simone Edwards has pretty much been at every game. Um, so it's pretty amazing all these these lifelong friendships that I have. Um, that are really special because, you know, they're friends, but they're also people that you, I was going to say went to war with, it's kind of cliche to say that, but what I mean by that is these are really unique moments when you're on a basketball court with people, when you're pushed to your limits, 
They see you in your best moments. They see you in your worst moments. They know all the sides of you and they're there to support you in those moments. They might be there at times to, you know, maybe I was going to say yell, but it's more like wake you up in those moments, you know, tell you get your head out of your butt type of a thing. And they just see, they see who you are like deep, deep down. And, and those, those relationships, um, they're, they're, they're hard to come by where you really experience that with, with another group of people. So, um, again, I could go down the list. I mean, there's people on this current team that I feel that way about that I know will be in my life forever. So, um, yeah, that's another thing. I'm really kind of back to playing in, in one franchise for the same, um, playing in the same franchise for, for my whole career. That's a big part of it, right? Having all these different relationships and we're all kind of connected by the storm. We've got time for two more questions. We're going to go to Zoom for those. Um, Mike Vogel, Vogel, excuse me, go ahead with your uh, question. Thank you. Sue, I know you talked about the league being in good hands and, and the high quality of play we've seen. When you think back, obviously you were right before your senior in high school is when this league started. Um, so you've watched the entire thing grow. What are you most impressed about in terms of the on the court play that we see that's happened, uh, you know, during your career and even a couple of years before that? Yeah, um, I just think the individual talent, um, watching that grow, like each with every like few years, who knows, maybe like three, four, five years, you would kind of see this injection of a new type of talent. And I could go down the list. I mean, you know, when Simone Augustus and Cappy Pondexter entered the league, that was like this new type of talent. And I'm, obviously I'm not forgetting a Diana Taurasi, but she's only two years younger than me. So it's kind of, I already knew her. Um, so as you go, it's like, there was always these little injections, right? I'll fast forward. Not, I, I don't want to like forget people you know me, if I sat here and thought about it, I could really pull, but you know, you, you fast forward to the three to C where it's like BG, Elena and Skylar, a new injection into the league. Right. So I just think like, as the league has, has gone along, there's always been these new injections. Um, and what you're seeing now is just incredible individual talent. Um, what was really most fascinating to me about this series was it was a lot of ISOs, a lot of ISOs 15 years ago wasn't the case. A lot of things have changed. The rule changes allow for that. You know, I remember my first probably 10 to 12 years of the league. It was these, <laughs> the games were grinds. I mean, grinds, um, you know, the year we won in 2010, that's how we wanted to play. We, we, we wanted the scores to be in the sixties. And now because of rule changes and because of this individual talent, you're seeing more, you know, free flow. I think, honestly, I would have loved, I would love to be 22 now. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'm not a grind out defensive player. Like I was born in the wrong era. Um, it'd be amazing to play now as a young pup. Um, but that's, what's exciting about it, you know, and, and that's what sports is. They, they, they evolve, they change. Um, you know, of course our counterpart in the NBA, we see it in the NBA and, and, and you're starting to see it now. It's just starting to evolve and change. Um, and it's getting very exciting to, to watch these individuals go at it. And that's what this, again, that's what this series, I think, really, really showed us. Thank you. Last question, Jackie Powell. Go ahead, Jackie. Hi, Sue. Um, you talked about how this franchise went through a rebuild and how that was something that was really special to you. So I, I'm curious what you think it takes for a successful rebuild to happen in this league. And what about that process or, or what it taught you? Um, what that process taught you in your career? Huh? Well, you got to get the number one pick. That's pretty <laughs> much what this conversation is. Let's be honest. I'm not encouraging tanking. I understand this is not <laughs> what you want to have happen, but I can name maybe two teams that have ever had success, like going to the finals, winning a championship that don't have a number one pick on them or don't have you know, multiple top three picks. I think women's basketball, you know, given that we only have 12 teams, I also think women's basketball, when you have special talent, that's when you win. You win, you win a championship because you have a player like Stewie on your team. You win a championship because you have a player like Lauren on your team. See, I keep eating this. You win championship because you have players like Diana Tarazi or Maya Moore on your team. Um, it's kind of the sad truth. And I feel really lucky that 
you know, I've played with multiple, I've played with, you know, two like franchise, epic hall of fame, legendary players. Um, that's how you win. And it's, it's really difficult to do it. Otherwise the teams that have so much credit. And I think a lot, a lot of that, that's when things like free agency come into play and that's when you can put together and and find the pieces. Um, but generally speaking, you need that one, you need that one. Thank you. Yeah. I just want to say thank, thank you to all of you guys for, you know, I'm sure I'll get another opportunity, but, um, it's been a pleasure. And I just want to thank you for covering me, covering us, covering this league. I hope you continue to do that. Um, it's because of you that we're able to keep this league going. Um, I see a lot of old faces in the room, but I also see a lot of new ones. I don't, I can't see who's on Zoom, but I just want to thank you all. Um, like I said, it's been a pleasure and I guess I'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>